In this video of King's speech, I'm coming through again with a video to help encourage and motivate my people and everybody through all the times that we're going through right now. We got our topic, so let's talk about it. YouTube, what's going on? I go by the name So King, and y'all welcome back to King's Speech. Um, like I said, man, this is gonna be not that long of a video that I want to come again and kind of help encourage again and motivate through all the stuff that we're going through. And and I I know no other way to do that than bring the truth. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way I know how. And uh, I watch and observe the things that are going on, and. I realized just watching things that I never had the same view of things that other people is because I think of things a lot different now because I really know what's going on because a lot of these things that we we are seeing have been prophesized so I know the prophecy behind what I'm seeing on TV you see what I'm saying so I can't look at it just like oh, this is happening and be shocked I look at it more like okay this was said in the Bible here, 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 that this is going to happen. You know, and I ain't saying we in the book of Revelations just yet, but we're getting close. We're getting close, for sure. And when I talk to some people about this, I understand that they don't want to hear this because it's it sounds scary. And, and I realize that we are only exposed to what is known in the Bible as smooth things. You only want to hear the smooth things, the things that make you feel good, the things that give you motivation, and not the things of the truth. Because the truth is the scary things. It sounds scarier because we've been so programmed to hear just what they tell us. And what they are telling us is just, what, like I said, the smooth things. You know, you just want to hear, this will happen to you if you do this. Or, you know, you're going to be a good person if you do this and that and this and that. But not telling you really what's going to happen to you or, and, and if you don't do what you got to do or supposed to do commanded to do that's the word commanded to do by the most high if we don't follow what we're supposed to do there's no good coming out of that but we are so you know what i'm saying we that's why i encourage every day man i don't care if you i don't care how old you are look okay it's like this what we have to do is challenge our beliefs, okay? We have to challenge our beliefs. So say if you believe in Christianity, right? If somebody comes to you and, you know, they're trying to tell you that, no, we are Hebrew Israelites. The so-called black people are God's chosen people. But then you like, no, 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 you know what I'm saying? I believe the Bible. That's not in the Bible, or it's white, you know, or some people say it's the white man's book, or challenge what you already believe to what's been said to you. Because you have questions about what you already believe, and you also have questions about what somebody is bringing forth to you. Research it, compare both of them, see where it actually, you know, See, see, you got to just really um, break it all down and you have to take the Bible. If you believe in the Bible, then you got to take the Bible and you got to basically know how to precept. Okay. Precept is basically how the Most High told us to read the Bible. And <clears throat> basically it takes where uh, it's confirmation. So you can have something in somewhere in the Old Testament and then you can find the precept somewhere in the New Testament where God where the Most High or Christ confirms it that's how precepts work and that's how that's another way how you can tell the Bible is true because of the precepts of the Bible you know what I'm saying and matter of fact let me get Isaiah 28 where it tells you it tells you to um, to read the Bible 
it's precept by precepts. We read this every day, every single day in our uh, Bible study. Every single day, that's how we open up the study. So I'm gonna go to Isaiah 28, verse 9 and verse 10. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. So basically it's saying that you hear a little bit here, hear a little bit in Old Testaments, hear a little bit there, hear a little bit in the New Testament. This is all going to get put together because it's all connected. That's how the most high, that's one of the, uh, what, what's the word I use? Um, uh, mechanism. That's why I use. I say it's like one of the mechanisms that he used to connect the Bible and show it to us. It's it's so man, the Bible is so deep when you actually sit down and break it down for what it really is and study it, it's so deep and there's no way you can deny it. And the people who took the Bible from us during slavery, they knew that. They read the Bible. They read the Bible, they know who we are, they know everything. That's why it was so easy for them to take and strip everything from us because they knew what stuff gave us power. It's all in the Bible. It's all in the Bible. And so, we read things upon precept, it helps connect. And once you connect those things, it's nothing that can get in between it now because you're not questioning it anymore. So if you question your belief and you challenge your belief and now the precepts that you read Versus what you've been taught and learning for all these years, it's not adding up. And it's clear as day. Then you're like, okay, wait, what am I really learning? What is this I'm sitting here learning? You know what I'm saying? And uh, the most high says for the people who have an ear to hear, you know, you got to go speak. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, it's not every day I don't know exactly who I'm going to reach. But I pray that every day I reach somebody. And I don't care if I only had one subscriber and one person to view all of my videos. Then that one person I'm going to help. That one person I pray that comes into the truth and starts reading and studying for themselves and start following the commandments and start following the laws and living in, through Christ. I mean, that's what it is. And I always say how I'm so young and people look at me like, you know, why he doing this at so young age, man? This is your age now. Go wild out. Do all this. Do all that. Nah, man. That's the ain't never a setup. You see how people dying every day. Like, this is, it's not, there's no time for it. If it's any time that we need to get right, it's right now. And we need to stop wasting time. And I'm speaking from experience because I know I wasted a whole lot of time. It's been times where I could have been helping people way more than I have been before now. And it's, a lot of people probably lost their lives out here without the knowledge. It's a lack of knowledge. And, I'm, and I know I'm used as a tool to go out and speak. Um, I know I did a video about faith without works. Cause we all say we had that faith. Well, a lot of people say we have that. We have a we have a certain faith in the Most High that things are gonna be okay. But we gotta do His works, and His works start with following the Ten Commandments and all the other laws that you see all throughout um, the Torah, which is the f first five books of the Bible. And if you still question that the Bible. Isn't real and it's just fairy tales or stuff like that, then we gotta look, take the Bible, and do other outside research about the Bible as well. That you can start finding things to help connect. For instance, in the book of Noah, well, not book of Noah, but in the story of Noah, at the end when the flood was over and everything, it says in the Bible that the ark rested on Mount Ararat. Mount Ararat is modern day Turkey. And 
um, I've done research where the Ark was found still resting on Mount Ararat. Another thing uh, in the story of Moses, after he parted the sea and they got uh, to the promised land through there or uh, out to the wilderness, then it's been researched where in that uh, body of water, you can find the um, wheels, the wheels of the, um, man, what you call the thing? You know, when the Egyptians was chasing after them and the, the things they rolled, I can't even think of the name of it. I can't even think of the name of it, but uh, you can find the wheels. You can find the wheels of it down in the water, under, in the sea, in the ocean. They're all that. They, was, uh, they were all down there, which is some more, um, which is more evidence uh, with us as far as finding bones and I mean dinosaurs some, some people don't think dinosaurs were real weren't real uh, we find dinosaur bones of course we can find those we got our skeletons our skulls will help identify our people in the places that they were it's so much evidence around that's, that can't be denied so once you take all the archaeological facts and you take the biblical facts and then you tie together common sense it's a trifecta right there that can't be beat because some of the stuff really is common sense it really is so then it's up to you what do you want to do because you got to make that choice so it all starts with challenging your beliefs challenge what you believe challenge what you have been told challenge it one of the most simple ones and I end it this is the last one one of the most simple ones is in Revelations when it talks about uh, the appearance, the description of Christ. So we've been taught that he's a white man. We've been taught, you see him in these churches, portrayed as this white man. And it clearly says in the Bible that he was a colored man. And then people say that the Bible has been translated and all this. But in every single translation of the Bible, in Revelations, he's still pictured and described as that black man. So that's something to think about right there. But like I said, I want to encourage y'all, man. I just want to encourage y'all to please pick up the Bible and just read. It's all going to come together. The more you read, the more you read it, you'll start to find more things every time you read. Do your research. Find out who we are. Find out we are the lost children of Israel. The Hebrew Israelites, that is us. And I got to say this every video because I, I have so much passion in what I do. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. And I'm going to give you as much proof as I can. We're going to get deeper and deeper as this channel go on, for sure. But yeah, with that being said, everybody, can y'all please give me a thumbs up, like the video. Make sure y'all go hit the subscribe button, join the family, and make sure that you leave me a comment because I want to know what everybody's thoughts is. You know, y'all interact with me, I'm going to interact back with you, for sure. But, uh... Just thank you, everybody. And I encourage y'all to keep doing this. Motivate. And just know y'all motivate me, too. It ain't just one-sided. Y'all definitely do motivate me, too. And let's get back to doing what the most high wants us to do. So with that being said, peace and shalom.